From a brand new boutique label, Fractured Visions, comes their debut movie, Silent Action, in this rather uh, stunning design. Um, rather simple, it's not a thick, overly thick case, so it's going to fit in the collection nice and easy. Uh, we take out the movie, we see we've got the old school Italian cover in there, and inside you have the movie, the soundtrack, and the booklet, which is all essential in my eyes. But of course, we're there to talk about the movie. It's directed by the one, the only, Sergio Martino. And man, what a movie he creates here. Um, visually stunning, exciting, a Euro crime thriller that has political leanings in amongst it. We open up with a series of murders that are staged to look like suicides and these just kind of jump from one to another while being intercut with newspaper headlines explaining what has happened. Now, we pretty uh, soon get to the point of uh, Giorgio Solmi, which is the main character, he's a detective who starts to piece together the information, who starts to piece things together and realise that maybe there is something going on, there is something grander at stakes here. And as he investigates these apparent suicides, he becomes embroiled in a political, uh, almost espionage type conspiracy. Um, which is grand in scope and is really kind of overwhelming at times with the amount of characters and plot that is going on. Martino shoots the hell out of this movie. It looks stunning and it has some uh, really fun moments in it as well. Like I said, the first start of the movie is all about kickstarting the plot setting up the murders and getting to a sort of latter half of the movie where it becomes more action centric where we have plenty of car chases um, and just fun moments. There is a particular scene that I just love that is really elongated and exciting and fun and different and that is a car chase between two cars and a motorbike that really goes places I wasn't expecting. It ends up into a kind of waste ground of a farm yard or something and, and starts to use uh, things about there to create some really nice, interesting action set pieces. There is um, a wonderful fight scene throughout the movie as well. There is a terrific finale on snow-tipped alpine mountains with helicopters chasing them. The movie looks stunning. It's great. It's got some great actors in it as well. Thomas Millian appears um, almost unrecognisable yet again. He loved to change his appearance in movies and creates this uh, really fun, dynamic character that is interspersed throughout the movie. I was really surprised by how great this movie looked. The transfer is stunning and was one that just I had my jaw on the floor watching this thing. Now, as great as the transfer is and as exciting as the movie starts and finishes, there's a little bit in the middle where it starts to get bogged down as we have to go through um, the perfunctory scenes of getting more information, getting some red herrings, some false clues and, and getting on with the, the plot of this story. But, like I said, it starts strong and it finishes really strong and it has that distinct Martino style that really lends itself to being an awesome piece of Euro crime stuff. This package is a good movie. It's nice. It's one that you would want in your collection if you're a Martino fan. What really elevates this package is everything that comes with it. The soundtrack is particularly awesome. I've been driving while listening to it uh, for a week or so now and I just I, I kind of love it. Although it does force me to tip on the acceleration a little bit too much, um, but the wealth of extras on the actual disc is just unbelievable. It's just a, such a RAM disc. So let's jump into the actual disc itself. We'll have a look at some of the extras and I'll talk you through. So here we are in the disc of Silent Action. He's going through some scenes in the movie just now. We shall go into a few of the menus and look into the set up because it has both Italian mono, English mono, uh, subtitles and audio commentary is hidden within the setup if you're looking for it. The commentary is by Mike Malloy. 
If we go into the extras, we can start to see some of the things that are with this disc. We have a 13 minute interview, newly done by Fractured Visions with Sergio Martino, which is quite interesting. We have the 18 minute interview with the lead actor, Luke Miranda. We have, which is 18 minutes, we have the interview with the composer, Luciano Michelini, which is 18 minutes as well. Uh, one of the standout extras of this is the 55 minutes Years of Lead 1970 Italy. If you are new to this era of filmmaking, this is essential. Even if you know a lot about these kind of movies, it's still fascinating. Great amount of tip bits, information in this one, and lots of other recommendations with it as well. Next up, we have the archive interview with Luca Miranda. Then we have uh, one of my favourites as well, the 50 minute The Millian Connection. Uh, just talking about Thomas Millian, um, if you're not familiar with him, you really need to be. It's, it's such a great, great actor, uh, one of my favourites from the Italian movies. You have the trailer, and that is it. But overall, it is a rammed disc, almost three hours of extras, including uh, the booklet, which we come with, and the soundtrack. It makes it an essential purchase. The Years of Lead uh, documentary extra is well worth checking out. So there we have it. Silent action is an essential disc. You know, the movie's good. Not a greatest Martino, but it's a good movie. The extras make this uh, just an essential purchase. Uh, I'm really impressed with both the design of the artwork, both the internals and out of the case. The addition of the soundtrack is always something that's welcome for me. Um, I, I know the wealth of extras in the disc are just awesome. And I would love to know your thoughts on the movie and the package. As this is a new boutique label, let me know what you think of them. Are you looking forward to their future releases? I know I am. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time on Man V Film.